Hi boys and girls! I thought that I would do a little extra lesson today to show you how to make um, your own clay. So if you didn't have Model Magic to do your self-portrait or if you just want some more clay or you need some more for your family, um, it's really simple. I put the recipe right here. It's one quarter cup of salt, one quarter cup of water, and then one half cup of flour. So um, we're just going to mix those things together and um, I'm going to dump in my flour and then my salt and I'm going to mix those together. Just kind of get them all in there together and then I'm going to put in my water and it's going to kind of be a little bit of a sticky mess. So I'm just going to mix that around a little bit till it starts to stick together. And then once it's starting to stick together, I'm going to just dump it out on my, this is a piece of parchment paper. You can put it on a placemat. I've got a placemat right underneath it. Just something that it won't make everything too dirty. It's just flour and salt and water, so it will clean up very easily, but still you don't want to make a big mess. So I'm just going to kind of get that together as much as I can. I'll scrape that off on the edge of my bowl. See how that's kind of coming together? It's looking like it is form, it's starting to form some clay. So I'm going to, it's kind of sticky still. I'm going to kind of just use my hands and pick up the salt and flour that's still in there with the clay that's pretty sticky still. And I'm going to get as much of that as I can. Now what I like about this is if you keep it in a little baggie, then you will um, be able to keep using it for a little while. Then I'm just going to knead it. And it's really not too sticky at all. And kneading it means to make these things out of the way. Kneading it is just um, the process of folding it over and kind of pressing it with the heel of your hand right there. This is what I do when I'm baking bread. And I'm just going to knead it for a little while to kind of get it together to start forming a nice smooth kind of clay that I can use. And it's coming together very nicely. I'll leave that recipe there so you can see it. Let that little portrait there so you can see um, my self-portrait that I did with my great big purple glasses that I got. Do you think it looks like me? I think it sort of looks like me. Okay, this is coming together really nicely. It's kind of slipping on this paper a little bit. Might be better just to do it on a placemat than that. Okay, and now I have some nice clay that I am ready to create with. And I can do the same thing that I did with my Model Magic and just make a sphere. Flatten it out to get my face, and then start to add all of the features that I want to add. And I can create my self-portrait or anything else that I feel like creating with it. Use your imagination. Maybe you want to make your dog, or maybe you want to make portraits of people in your home, or maybe you want to make a dinosaur, or a dragon, or a unicorn, or a butterfly, or whatever you want to make. Use your imagination um, and create something that's fun. And then if you want it to dry, if you love it and it's perfect and you want it to get nice and hard, leave it out and let it dry and if not you can just put it in a little bag wrap it in some plastic or something to keep it soft it won't last forever but it will last um, for a little while and you can keep making new things with it also if you would like some color in this you could put a drop of food coloring in it if your um, family has some food coloring in the cupboard somewhere you could put that in actually I would probably mix it in with the water um, when I mixed it together and um, or what you could do is you could break it into two different pieces or three different pieces or four different pieces and put a drop of different food coloring. Like if you wanted red, yellow, blue, and green, you could put a drop in each and then just knead it and mix it until you got the color all mixed in there really well. But your hands will um, turn colors, okay? It will dye your hands. So um, you, just so that you know that. 
and you'll need to wash them. And it may not come out until you take a bath, okay? Because food coloring um, kind of stains your hands pretty well. So you could get some different colors that way if you wanted to do that, okay? Then you could do some color mixing. Like if you have some yellow and some red, you could take a piece of each and you could do a little bit of color mixing and see what you get, okay? Those primary colors, remember what they are? Red, yellow, and blue. And you can take a red and a yellow, a yellow and a blue, a blue and a red, and see what you get. And then you can take pieces of those and mix them and see what you get. Have some fun with colors. Have some fun with your clay. Um, I hope that you're doing great. I hope you're healthy and safe. I love you all very, very much. I miss you, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye, boys and girls. Love you.